doesn't actually have any stargates or any way of uh, killing that stuff except for a warp prism and doing like immortal drops or something but um, my frame rate speaking of drops just dropped to like 10 which is super annoying but um, Goody coming in killing probe again at the Zelnaga tower Hasu's vision being a little bit blocked there he does have observers all over the place though a couple of Vikings swinging around the left side of the map yet again gonna be checking out what they can there is no real defense here at Hasu's high yield base. He is warping in a stalker now. And a tank drop yet again by Goody. I'm watching the minimap to make sure I don't miss another Hellion drop like last time. This single stalker and a couple of zealots are able to hold off the tanks apparently for the time being. Uh, one of them was brought down to the orange health, but the medevac is still alive. These stalkers over here on the left side of this natural are still hanging out. So Goody probably won't be able to get much of a drop here either. Still watching that minimap, it looks like a turret is being built. Okay, I wanted to make sure that wasn't a medevac full of Hellions or something. So Goody still just playing it safe right now, not able to drop those tanks uh, anytime soon. It looks like Hasu is well prepared for it, uh, fully expecting it now at this point in the game. That turret is completed. All these air units tucked away here in the top. Uh, if we get a nun there, you see the Viking and the medevac. What is going on up here? More turrets. Oh, he's trying to expand over here in the far right spawn of Lost Temple. That's pretty interesting. And he is breaking down the rocks here at his own high yield base. So uh, keep an eye on the minimap for a purple blob moving ever. It might not happen. I don't know. But um, I probably will miss it as other stuff will be going on. Hasu now moving in on the Zelnaga Tower encampment that uh, Goody has been setting up. But look at all these siege tanks. Oh my god, 11 siege tanks. 162 food army against Hasu's 133. Hasu's going to need some really, really good attacks here sometime soon to be able to pull this game off. I think he is falling a little bit behind. Goody working off of four bases now. Hasu's still on three despite one of them being a high yield. And there's that tank drop that we were looking for earlier. The tanks were dropped. I'm not sure how many kills they were able to get before all those stalkers showed up. But now there is a forge up and researching. I'm not sure what the upgrades look like over on Goody's side. It looks like he already has plus one weapons for his tanks. He's getting the second upgrade as well. He hasn't been building any bio at all, so I'm not even going to look for those. But um, Hasu at 0, zero, zero against 0-1 mech. This, I mean, it's kind of a surprising game. I don't see it that often. Oh, there's a blink. Did not know that Hasu researched blink. Always like to see it, though. These tanks go down really quick as a result. These Hellions go down pretty quickly, too. And keep in mind, this is a 1.0 series, not a 1.1 series. Hasu does scout out this command center floating above with a single zealot. An immortal goes in to his death. Uh, there's still quite a lot of tanks. Actually, 12 tanks still alive. These stalkers, I'm afraid, are not going to be enough. Uh, he's actually got a 30 food deficit still. Two Stargates being built for Hasu Ubs. Check that out. Air Armor Level 1 and two Stargates being built for Hasu Ubs. Right here in the main. And a Warp Prism. Interesting stuff. We'll see what he uh, ends up doing with that. But the Stalker's coming around now to the floating command center of Goody. They're just queued up, ready to attack things. Gonna kill off that turret and that SCV, probably. Yep, there goes the SCV. And he blinks on over to this floating command center, wants to kill that, or at least get it burning before it's able to escape off the edge of the cliff. Let's see if he's able to do it. And I see some movement here, more Stalkers coming out, more Stalkers being warped in. Looks like Hasu's just going mass Stalker. His O1 upgrades are completed. That Warp Prism just got shattered by a single turret. Bad mistake by Hasu. That's going to cost him some time and money, of course. Uh, these Stalkers do a small engagement here with the Siege Tanks and the Hellions parked over at the Zelnaga Tower. And this Command Center is burning, so I think he's achieved what he wanted to there, getting that Command Center out of town. Fleet Beacon build being built for Hasu Ops and another Warp Prism, so we may be seeing carriers or even a mothership. Look at this Terran Weapons level 3 upgrading now. So this mech investment is fully, fully on. <laughs> even ship weapons being upgraded now. There are two armories pumping upgrades. This command center is going to burn down. Not really too concerned about that. He could have left a stalker there at least. But uh, this observer is going to be in trouble here soon uh, once this turret is completed. And Orbital Command is fully mining away here and on the island. Uh, the Warp Prism is built now. I'll try and keep an eye on that. After that observer goes down, wanted to make sure that happened. So what will the Warp Prism do? Probably turn into phasing mode just off the cliff here. However, those turrets being parked right there are probably going to be able to thwart this attempt. Uh, Hasuab's at 170 food now against 186. 
of Goody. Yeah, and that Warp Prism does bite the dust, so failed attempt there. These Hellions are on the move for Goody, looking out for expansions. Hasu's still on three bases, but he looks like he did Warp Prism over a probe over onto this island. He drops a scan just to make sure, and of course, there is one there. So basically, I'm just trying to keep a Hawkeye on this minimap right now because there are Warp Prisms in play, there are um, Void Rays being built, Air Weapons being built, Ground Weapons being researched. What was the Fleet Beacon for? Did it even finish building? Where is it? Where are you at, Fleet Beacon? I know I saw you being built. There you are, underneath the mass Void Rays. Did he give Void Ray speed? Yes, he did. So that was not for carriers or a mothership. In fact, it was for Void Ray speed. So he's investing heavily in Void Rays against these mass tanks and Vikings and Hellions of Goody. Could it work out for him, you know? It, it actually could. And the fact that Goody hasn't really been able to do a ton of damage to Hasu throughout the game, unlike Metalopolis, um, means that Hasu has been able to build lots and lots of Blink Stalkers and get these Void Rays out over a long period of time. He's going to have a dozen or so by the time he's ready to engage. Goody looks like he's going to do a couple of tank drops here. He's got two medevacs full of tanks, four tanks and a bunch of Vikings here coming to take out this Nexus. Tanks go on down before the medevacs can be killed by this solitary cannon and Stalker. So now four tanks and a bunch of landed Vikings. Uh, cruising around, taking out this expansion, but at the same time, a handful of Stalkers do manage to make their way into the base, the island base of Goody. That Nexus does go down to the tank drop, as well as these cannons, probes, and um, pylons. Hasu is taking out workers left and right. I don't think he's going to come to defend that anytime soon. This Warp Prism basically just turned into phasing mode, and the Stalkers blinked down. There is a High Templar here, ready for storm sometime soon. He probably already dropped one. Now the Void Ray Wall as I like to call it, has shown up and is taking out these tanks. Um, there are still some units up here on the left side of the map, but I cannot actually go see them, even if I tilt the camera, so um, that's going to be hard to see. These stalkers actually just going totally undefended over here, killing off the high-yield workers. This is actually quite surprising. I knew that this expansion was going to be taken down, but so much damage was done at this high-yield that could have been prevented by Goody just by bringing some tanks over or having them parked there initially in the first place. But now the Void Ray Wall has shown up at Goody's base. There are so many Void Rays. Check this out. Ten Void Rays with full charges are going to be doing quite a lot of damage against these 0-1 Vikings. The 1-1 Void Rays are going to be just fine against all these turrets as well. Turrets do not hold up very well against fully charged Void Rays as you can see. So the Void Ray Wall just cruising through here. Looks like the high yield attack was thwarted by those siege tanks, but now these Void Rays don't really have an answer for them. Not enough anti-air on the field for Goody, so he's just going to cruise through here, kill off all the turrets and the Vikings as they come out, and Goody will be left with essentially no anti-air while two more Void Rays come in. Um, coming in two by two, carriers actually being built, as well as air armor level two and Protoss shields. So uh, yeah, the battle cruiser actually shows up for Goody. I'm sorry I missed that fusion core, but the fact that the battle cruiser showed up was proof enough, and Goody does GG. All the anti-air was killed in the area, so uh, Hasu able to just smash the rest of all this uh, tank line, and you can see a factory blowing up right there. It's pretty cool little explosions, but um, Void Ray Wall wins the game after a long macro fest. Interesting stuff. Let's move on to game three now that the series is tied 1-1.